All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So I've had this phone for officially a month. It's actually been a little bit longer than a month, a day or two over a month. Uh, and it is actually time to talk about it and how I've genuinely been using it. It's been my daily driver since I got it. Uh, and we're going to talk about it in this video. So obviously you can see here, I went with the porcelain version. Everybody's got their favorite color. I think the porcelain is the best color. I mean, of the two, I should say, because we only got two color options. It would have been nice to have uh, some other like really red looking color or blue or something. Uh, but they gave us the porcelain and the obsidian. And that's fine with me. And I, again, it really would have been a nice data because um, I think this blue here is absolutely beautiful. And um, I think it would have been nice to have this same device with this color blue on the camera. Just something to give it some different flare uh, other than uh, just two colors but hey this is what we got and I like the lighter color uh, it doesn't show any fingerprints or anything it's actually pretty sleek in person uh, this is just an overall beautiful looking device um, and I think that's really nice now the hardware on here is super thin uh, it's a very thin um, device overall uh, and it is a folding device uh, and I'm going to talk about that too. Uh, but um, this design of this device is a win right out the gate. They did a phenomenal job with the first time on this hardware. Uh, basically, basically took, uh, took design cues from the current Pixel 7 devices. And, you know, here we are. We've got a folding device. Now, the design of this and the hardware, top tier, premium. Really like it. I like it. has nothing to do with it folding flat and all that stuff. I mean, I haven't a Z Fold 4 for so long. And, uh, in the other default devices, you know, the gap in the center, it didn't really bother me after a while. I mean, who cares if it has a little bit of space in the middle? Uh, but this does fold flat and some people like to use that as a selling point. I personally don't care too much about it being flat because I'm just using it. Uh, and that's just what it is. So, um, hardware design still love it is still premium if you've never felt this device before you're in for a treat uh because it is actually really really nice it's definitely on par uh with the surface duo it is on par with this device right here this is a, one of the most premium devices i've ever used uh and as far as hardware goes uh, even with this rubber bumper on here uh this would have been a good idea for google to use as well to create a rubber bumper around it uh because this is an all glass device and i think a lot of people would have appreciated having something real sleek like this but i'm sure microsoft has some patents or something on that uh, but nonetheless this hardware and folding design is really premium i've had no issues with the hardware at all uh obviously you can see the the fingerprint reading works every time uh, i have my fingerprint fingerprint reader set to press and unlock because i don't want the accidental unlocks because i rest my hand here a lot um and so i want to press it like if i just rest it on there, it's not going to open i have to light the screen and then it'll unlock which is where i prefer that now some things about the hardware that i pointed out in previous videos is you have a speaker on the top screen you have a speaker on the bottom screen so the speakers are not on the same side of the device uh, i guess they chose to do that for whatever reason i don't know uh, but it's something to do with the hardware. So that's how they did it. So this does fold open into a uh, full fledged uh, tablet style device. And I think this is a part of the hardware that people really would enjoy. Um, and uh, it's just going to be a, a great device to use like this. Now, a lot of times when I'm using this to watch movies and, and uh, things like that, it's sitting like this and it's facing me like it's it's sitting facing me like the, the movie is up on that screen over there and I'm watching something. And I'll give you an example of that. Uh, let's go ahead and open up my YouTube here and we go to videos and I'll go ahead and open up a video here. And this is how I watch the content. It sits like this, it's facing me, and I'm just, in, because the speaker, the volume is on top, and I'm just watching the content. It's perfectly fine doing like that. Uh, I've rarely ever watched content with it in the full, like this. I, I rarely do this. I never do it like this. I always have it like this and then I fold it up and then it's sitting down like that so I can have my hands free. Uh, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with, with, with watching it like this. I just don't prefer to have the black bars. And if you zoom, you, you lose so much of the video, which is kind of a, a disappointing thing in a sense 
put this up to 4K. I was wondering, I said, why does it look so grainy? Um, anybody else been having trouble with YouTube processing their 4K videos for a long time? It happens on some videos, not all, but this is the actual video right here. And then if I zoom in, you know, and fill the screen, and that is one advantage that I think Samsung has. I can actually record in this frame right here and then the videos will look great like this. I always record like that with the Samsung, but, um, I don't, I don't watch, uh, videos like this. I always have them in this orientation like this, uh, when I'm watching videos most of the time. So, uh, you know, having this big canvas is actually really beautiful, but in this orientation, I very seldom do any kind of media. Uh, I'm just using a part of the screen. And even when I, ha okay, now when I do have it in this orientation and I'm watching some media, I'll have another social media app on this side, like a, a web browser or something. Um, I'll have uh, the, uh, a web browser on this side uh, or, or something. I'll put something on this side over here like this. I frequently do this. I mean, I, I do this a ton. Uh, when it comes to social media, um, I, I, I do this so much when I'm watching a movie over here or a video or something, I, I, I can't even count. It, it's just so, so many times I do that. Uh, and then I can just go back to it like that. Uh, and that's probably why I like that. But, uh, nonetheless, that is a part of the hardware that I really enjoy. And the more importantly, the speakers are really nice on here. So when I do have it like this in this orientation, there's a speaker right here and then there's a speaker over here. And so I'm kind of getting like this 3D sound uh, or a good surround sound, I should say, from the actual um, from the actual device. And, that, and I think that's a really solid thing. I could appreciate how those I don't know why they chose to stagger the speakers like that. I'm sure they're going to have a reason dealing with the hardware, but nonetheless, it's great. So um, now let's talk about uh, the features of the device. Now you can see the taskbar down here. I really enjoy that. Um, I think the software suite itself works great, but I still think they're going to end up having to get onto third party companies to fix their software to work in this orientation, i.e. fill the screen. Because right now when you do this, you get the, you, it looks like this and then you'll, you'll rotate uh, and then you get the full screen. Now, personally, I don't have a problem with this. Uh, I don't mind rotating because honestly, this is how I use the device 99% of the time when I have it open. Um, well, I'm, I'm not gonna say 99%, maybe 60, 40 split. How about that? I'll do a 60, 40. Uh, but a lot of the applications, they're just not compatible from third party people yet where it goes like this and then you you know you you get it to fill the screen so uh this is just going to come down to you know we need you to fix this simply put we need you to fix this the third party oems because all of the google stuff works right all the google things anything google on this device fills the screen in, in any orientation uh, and this has been discussed by a lot of creators or people that are online talking about this device. I, I would think I, I've seen several people mention this, but I'm still seeing a lot of people complaining about third party apps that has nothing to do with Google. Google can't force a developer to fix their app. Well, I guess they could by taking their app out of the store, but I mean, I don't think they would do that, but you've got to get these apps um, optimized. So let's try Sirius XM and see if they see they've even optimized theirs. Sirius has optimized theirs. That's great. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just a matter of who's optimizing their devices quick enough for this format right here. And there's a lot of there's a lot of companies that are. But the software features outside of that, uh, all the Google stuff, it is great, man. Uh, this device, I have no quarrels with it. Those little quirks with social media don't bother me at all. But I had to point that out because there's going to be people that jump on these comments and say, hey, you didn't talk about the apps not optimized. Well, that's not really a Google problem per se. It's a third party development problem. And that's something that we all have to deal with while we're using this device. And I will say that that has not bothered me at all, because if, you, if it bothers you that much, just use the phone closed and everything is optimized this way. This is a phenomenal way to use this device because it genuinely takes advantage of the front display, something fold owners wish they could have um, because now that we know the Fold 5 is coming out and we already knew what the Fold 5 was going to be, we knew it. You know, they're using the same body and same 
they've changed a few things, but overall they're still using the same aspect ratio and they need to change that to pull in even more fold owners to uh, and to gravitate people f from what they already have because so many people complained about the aspect ratio on the fold uh, and then you know this device comes out and this is the perfect aspect ratio this device is so good with it closed I rarely open it sometimes and I forget I'm like oh man I, I need to pop this thing open and web browse with it I'll be web browsing on this screen right here and I'm thinking oh gosh I can totally open this up and use it like this and get even more real estate uh, but that's just something that since day one i've been saying man i forgot to open this thing up and now i regularly use it like this and i'm so comfortable now i used to complain about the weight uh, when i first got this device but in reality after using this for so long um it's officially been a month uh a little over a month or whatever and i don't even feel the weight anymore I feel it, but it's not a complaint anymore. That was a huge thing to me. It was a heavy device when I first got it, and it is not a heavy device anymore. It's still heavy, but I'm used to it. That's all. Muscle memory has kicked in to, to let me know, hey, Jay, it's not that heavy. Just use it. And that's ultimately what's going on here. The Google Pixel Fold is built like a tank. Um, I've dropped it before, but I have several cases. I haven't dropped it outside of a case, but I have dropped it in a case. And, it, you know, I've actually dropped phones in cases and they still broke. Uh, but with this one, not so much. This this is a device that is just going to be a solid device inside of a case. For me, in my experience, I've got a tempered glass on there. There's no scratches came over. It just it just worked. The glass didn't even crack either. So I was really happy about that. I, I was kind of like, oh, man, this grass is going to crack. No, it's, it's good. So um, that's another part of the hardware I, I, I can speak on real fast. But, you know, nonetheless, um, using this device closed like this, it's been it's been crazy. I, I genuinely enjoy it closed, which is something I can say about the Fold 4, but this is more pleasurable. Now, the, the reason it's OK that I have uh, a, a Fold 4 is because I like 22 by 9 and 21 by 9 aspect ratio phones. And this is one of them. This is actually really, really solid. Uh, this this aspect ratio is so nice. I love the design of this, the ridges, everything about this device is it's great. So that is why that is why using the um, the 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 pixel of uh, uh, excuse me, the, the Z Fold 4 is not an issue for me. I've never really had a problem with that hardware, but tons of people complained about the aspect ratio. Uh, and, and have still complained about it. But folks, if you're complaining about the aspect ratio or you don't like the aspect ratio on the Pixel Fold, just go buy a Pixel 4 or buy a Pixel Fold. Uh, if you don't like the Fold 4, buy a Pixel Fold. Man, all these Pixel and Fold and Fold and Fold. This aspect ratio will please many people. It's so easy on your hand and so easy in your pocket. Now, I said the software was solid, but I didn't talk about the battery. The battery life has only improved for me because I installed the 14 beta. I have been on Android 14 beta since I got this device. Shout out to the Hawks uh, TV. She she put me on to Android 14. Uh, no, I think it was Gigi. Gigi, my bad. Um, the Hawks is on. I think she's on it too, though. I think she's on it. I think we talked about it in the group. But um, Gigi put me on to Android beta 14 because she was having some issues with her battery as well. And once I got on to the beta, Wow, my battery life improved. Man, this thing goes over a day now. About a day and a half is what I was requesting, and I can get that easily. No power saving mode anymore. It just it just flows. So that means Android 14 stable ROM should be phenomenal on this on this device. It improved my battery life a ton. I could barely make it through a day without charging, and now I don't charge every day. I charge every other day. And uh, well, sometimes, you know, that's that's the skinny of it. That's what I can do now, obviously, um, for just well, I'm just using the phone. I've been using it for a month now. So after about three weeks, I kind of get out of review phase in my mind. I just start using it and I actually forgot that it was a month. I was looking around. I said, oh, man, it's been a month. I got to put up a 30 day review. So having this with poor battery or not so great battery and then having it with great battery for what it is, I love it. Um, it's just become even more and more solid for me and it is hard to put down. I know that when I get the full five in, it's going to be very difficult to not bring up this form factor 
and things about this device because it's a direct competitor now. Samsung has a direct competitor and it is this device specifically, period. This is a device that's competing with the Fold 5 and it in fact does compete because we already know what the Fold 5 is offering, but we don't have it in hand yet, but Samsung didn't change anything on that device pretty much. The, the essentials, I would say. They didn't put a bigger battery, things like things that I really wanted, but we'll see how those cameras go. Oh wait, they didn't change that, but we'll say that for another video. But when you're talking about folds and stuff like that, you will have to mention this device going forward. This is a first generation from, from Google, and it is a phenomenal first attempt, period. Now, when this device first dropped, they were giving enhanced trade-ins where, i.e., the iPhone, they were giving $900 for an iPhone 13 Pro Max and $850 for an iPhone 13 Pro. That is a lot of money for those devices because they're not worth that to Apple, that is. I'm not just to Apple. If you go into Apple, they're giving you $500 and $600 for these same devices, and then I even taking into consideration your memory option. Yeah. So with Google, when they first dropped this, they actually had great trade-in pricing. A lot of people just didn't really focus on it, I guess, or didn't want to hear it, but they actually did enhanced trade-ins when they were doing the pre-order, and they gave away a watch. Now, I'm not wearing my watch yet. It's still new in the box because I still rock with I didn't feel the need to. I was going to sell this one for like 50 bucks or 100 bucks. Uh, but I was like, nah, I'll just keep it. I'll continue to wear it and I'll collect the other one. It's the hazel one. Nice color. So I'm just still going to rock this one. This is my original one that I got. And I was like, OK, fine. So um, because I did get the I do have the porcelain um, pixel tablet, which I absolutely love. This thing is phenomenal on battery. I mean, it is just, there's a lot I like about that. Let's dock it, because we can ball out like that and dock it. Ain't that something? Mm. I love that thing. But um, I can tell you one thing, Google has made their mark on, on how to put out a folding device. There's no denying it now that there is legitimate competition uh, from Google. In the folding game samsung has been running that market for so long and no one could touch them they didn't have a reason to try to to try harder and even as they see the pixel fold is getting a lot of love and people are really on to it better form factor great cameras video cameras are not on par with samsung's uh z fold 4 yet or or the s23 ultra this is someone said this is the juggernaut and i i agree uh, this is rolling up to be the phone of the year, probably. And we're just, what, halfway through, a little over halfway through. Uh, this is probably going to be the phone of the year unless something spectacular comes out for me. This is that good. Yeah, we'll talk about that in another video. But um, pricing on here, a lot of people was coming up with these ideas that, oh, it should be this and it should be this. I got so tired of hearing that, folks, what Google should have done with their pricing. The Pixel Fold had great trade-in values when it first launched. That's it. If I'm not going to keep complaining about the price if I'm not going to buy it. Here, I try to give you the most honest opinions about these things and try to be as objective as possible. But there are so many things that are subjective battery camera quality all those things and you know there's no need to touch on the camera quality because i've done a, a video review on that these video cameras on here are great i just prefer the way things are done on samsung's quality uh for the video over apple and everybody i think samsung has done a fun even over the sony well the sony's close Ooh, yeah that's a that's a tough one this phone right here is for people who know how to use a camera manually and i use sony i'm recording right now with my sony with my sigma lens though uh this phone right here is it's probably the closest match that i've seen for video quality for samsung and the way i'm using these devices um uh, like with the top down shots or just recording vlogs this is the closest i've come i would say to even matching what the s23 ultra is doing this phone is freaking phenomenal folks it can do video in any scenario and it has great noise canceling and that is what i need from google uh on their devices they have great noise canceling on certain things but the video just isn't quite there yet and so price and video quality 
get a mark off for those. So down from 100%, this phone is about a 90% win for me. Um, pictures obviously are still shots are phenomenal, but uh, video quality and then the price get a knockdown. So 90 out of 100, this is a great deal. This is a phenomenal device. I, like I said, I frequently, as we close out here, I frequently find myself not even opening it up most times and end up keeping it closed a lot. And I feel like I'm cheating myself. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta open this thing up and I have got to get busy. I'll, I'll try to answer as many questions. While it wouldn't be my like phone of the year, uh, last year it was this device, uh, the Pixel 6a. And the, 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 the 7a or the 7, could be uh, devices of the year. I just have some reserves about uh, some things on there that are important to me. And, and this device kind of tackles them all. You know, that's just what it is. Uh, so Android 14 beta to recap is what fixed my battery life. That's what made this phone great. I wasn't going to do a catch and release because I could make it through a day. But I wanted more than that in, in Google. You, you saved yourself. You you put it on. You you release Android 14 beta, and it solved all those battery woes and other things on the device. Man, I just been using it. That's just how it is. It's a phenomenal device. I love it. It's here to stay, and I'm glad I got a chance to to buy this at launch, and I didn't have to wait. I got it on launch day, and it came in on launch day. I think it did or whatever, and I'm excited about that. So if you don't have the Pixel Fold and you have questions about it. Don't question too long. Go buy it. And then you can create your own answers there for yourself. It's your man, Jay. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.